The official opposition in Ottawa says a Canadian man who traveled overseas to fight for ISIS admits to killing a prisoner. And now he's back on Canadian soil, a free man. I have to warn you that the following story contains graphic material. It may not be suitable for all viewers. I threw up a lot that day. I couldn't get the smell of that stale, irony, bloody smell off of my hand. Or like, I, could, I kept smelling it. A man who claims to be Canadian and goes by the name Abu Huzaifa describes killing a prisoner in 2014 while serving for ISIS in Syria. His confession was aired on a podcast with a reporter from the New York Times. You kind of just have to close your eyes and do it. And just shoot. The man's story details how he was forced to kill a prisoner before moving up the ranks to become a frontline fighter. The CBC claims they spoke with Huzaifa last year after returning from Syria. But unlike the CBC interview, in this one, Huzaifa admits to killing a man. You just start slow. You're like, okay, just slowly you can do this. this don't worry, he's more than you're killing him for a reason. This is justified. You can do this. You're not going to be held accountable. But Canada's official opposition is demanding that he be held accountable. Today, there's an individual that is probably walking around the streets of Toronto. He should be arrested. The issue of ISIS fighters returning to Canada has infuriated the opposition in the past when the government shared their plans to rehabilitate returning fighters. Bergen wants the government to take a stand. The government needs to send a strong, clear message that ISIS retur people returning from being terrorists with ISIS are not going to be accepted back, back into Canada. When asked about the issue during question period, Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale was annoyed by the question. The last thing that would ensure the safety of Canadians is to have a play-by-play -play commentary on security operations on the floor of the House of Commons. That, in fact, would endanger the safety of Canadians. Minister Goodell's office says they can't comment on specific cases, but they did say that the government is investing in a new counter-radicalization centre that deals with the 60 or so fighters that have returned from overseas. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, A City News.